So I am Jason Fitzgerald. I am a product manager here with Bluestream US. And with me today, I have Neil Ellsworth, who is also a project director. Um, and uh, he'll be helping here modify. So if you have questions, please go ahead. You can put them in the question box. Um, we'll, we'll definitely address those either on the spot if we can do that. And um, and then anything after that, we can certainly take at the end of this. Uh, this will be broken up basically into three segments, like I mentioned here a second ago, talking about Bluestream and the brand, right? The why Bluestream. Uh, moving on to a very high level of our product categories, kind of where we fit into the market with our products. And lastly, finishing out with some new solutions. So if you're familiar with Bluestream, that's great. You'll be able to see some of the new stuff that we've been innovating on and releasing uh, that we've been working on uh, throughout this year. So with that, we'll go ahead and get started. So first of all, thanks for joining us today to learn more about Bluestream, um, you know, and why Bluestream deserves to be your go-to AV distribution line. Now, some of you are, you know, brand new to Bluestream. So we're going to start with a high-level overview of simply why Bluestream. So first and foremost, Bluestream is a complete line of AV distribution products for residential, security, corporate, education, and more. In other words, we serve all the categories that are important to you and your business. Next, we've partnered with technology pioneers and have developed a leadership position with a number of first-to-market introductions. So these are technologies that you're probably most certainly familiar with today, and we've integrated these into solutions to be able to deliver premium performance, but we've done so really with a value pricing model in mind. So Bluestream, of course, has a global presence, right? And over its nearly decade-long history, has won and are trusted in a number of globally renowned projects. Next is support. And we cannot stress the importance of this enough. And we'll, you know, help you get started and stay on top with industry-leading training and technical support. And lastly, we're readily available, right? So either through direct or through distribution partners, we want to make it as easy as possible to get your hands on Bluestream product. And as you can see here, we're working with many of those distributors that you're probably already set up with today. And the last thing to probably mention here is that we're in stock, right? So throughout this global IC shortage, right, Bluestream was able to maintain its position as a global leader in this industry by having the foresight to procure all the components needed to keep our production lines running, right? And the net benefit of that has really been year over year growth for Bluestream even throughout the pandemic. Now, let's talk a little bit about the triangle of success. You see, you are at the center of our world and our product strategy is built then around you. So these three cornerstones are at the core of everything that we do. So without them, we you know, wouldn't have been able to achieve the success that we have to date. Now, the first cornerstone you know, um, really is, and our number one priority is reliability, right? With less than a 1% defect ratio. Because if that product doesn't work for your customers, they won't turn to you for their next project. So. Our reliability is where we're trusted in mission critical installations around the globe. The next cornerstone is our application specific product development approach, right? So our product team ensures that our solutions are designed for the task at hand and not just overloaded because a particular chip can do a certain function or feature, right? So this means that Bluestream integrators aren't gonna have to overspend on unnecessary features that are either seldom or never used. And this means, of course, that we deliver value, right? We design and manufacture our equipment with performance in mind. And with your customer's budget in mind, we cross-utilize you know, similar designs and share components to ensure that we can manufacture efficiently and to real-world price points. So some good examples of this approach are with HDBase T 3.0. So I won't get into the specifics of what 3.0 is, but suffice it to say, it's full 4K 18 gig HDMI over a single CAT cable. Now, the first product we developed for this had purely just video and IR in mind, right? Which we know for a number of our customers is exactly where we need this, right? And that's what they're installing with, with just video and IR. Then after that, we released a product that opened up all the features of this platform, all the bells and whistles, which is really geared more towards the commercial applications where we need things like USB, bi-directional capabilities, et cetera. Um, another example of this is going to be with our HD-based T-Matrix lines, where we have three levels of products you know, for different installer needs, and we incorporate progressive features and capabilities as we move up through those lines. But ultimately, what it comes down to is that we're adhering to the fundamentals that have enabled us to be one of the fastest growing AV distribution brands in the industry. 
So with all of that in mind, right, Bluestream today makes over 100 SKUs in the categories that are important to your business from basic problem solvers like DAX and splitters all the way up to things like video over IP, right? As I mentioned before, we've partnered with the best AV technologies and, you know, many of which you're probably familiar and working with today. And with that, we've really developed personal relationships with engineers and key management personnel within these organizations. So, for example, Bluestream is headquartered in Australia, which happens to also be the backyard for SDVOE and Dante. So being so close to Bluestream, we've been able to stay on top of the curve with the latest innovations and to really cultivate true partnerships. So this, this closeness has really helped us create synergy between the technologies that leads to innovation, which ends up being really for you. And of course, None of this, right, is going to matter unless we can make it easy to integrate our products into projects, right? And that's why Bluestream has been dedicated to working with these control partners, whether it's a brand that you've specifically chosen for your business or one that your customers chosen for theirs. We've painstakingly spent the time and investment to work with global driver developers to ensure seamless integration with third-party control platforms like Crestron, Extron, RTI, Elong, QSC, and more. All right. We're trusted by some of the biggest names in the entertainment and events industry, you know, and then really located at some of the world's best known addresses. So, so here's a few of them, right? So first up, we have the Olympics, and I'll dive into that here in a second. But we've been the sole provider of the commentary video distribution throughout the Olympic venues uh, in the International Broadcast Center for the last three Olympic Games, right? So that's Pyeongchang in 2018, Tokyo in 2021, and of course, Beijing, which wrapped up in February, and we are still looking forward to doing Paris in 2024. We're in places like Heathrow Airport, right, where we have digital signage throughout the terminals uh, during the refurbishment at uh, Harrods. You may have heard of the Egyptian staircase. We have digital signage there in the public areas and showcase escalators, really 42 screens in total there using our IP200, which is our video over IP system. Um, Apple developers, some of them use Bluestream 4x4 matrices to manage their, their you know, multiple desktop setups. Uh, the Madrid Mexico using extenders. Wimbledon also using video over IP. But last but not least, also places like universities and higher education, the University of Oxford, right? They use multiple systems throughout various colleges and the latest being Harvard uh, here in the United States using our IP50 UH or HD video or IP solution to drive some classrooms. So as a showcase, let's go ahead and talk about the Olympics a little bit, right? It's quite a big feather in our cap. Um, so this is a full fiber network. And it's not turned on, you know, until really one day before the opening ceremony. So while, you know, each site or each venue for this could be commissioned individ individually, the, uh, the whole video system couldn't really be tested until the network is operational, right? So everything really has to work the first time, the same time, especially only one day before. So when we switched the system on, and this was a 500 by 1700 system across 43 different venues in the largest city in the world, it takes a few minutes to get up and running. But suffice it to say, after five minutes, the system settled and worked flawlessly throughout the game. So the Olympics also partnered with Bluestream here, you know, uh, to be able to support, you know, on site. And so we had individuals there to ensure the system was working perfectly throughout the games, which of course that it did. And another net benefit for engaging with organizations and events like this is that, you know, there were some specific features that were sought by the Olympics organization. Um, and so, you know, several advanced security functions and other things that were developed initially for them. Now these updates and of course then get rolled out to systems. So we now supply these to customers worldwide. So we understand, right, the priorities of your business, right? The customer comes first. And for us, that starts with you and getting you trained and fluent in your Bluestream installation so you can deliver an exceptional solution to your client. The end user experience is our top priority. So when there's an issue, right, nine times out of 10, it's resolved on the first tech support call, right? Uh, if a product's faulty, we know the most efficient process is for us to quickly swap it out and, you know, ask questions later. So if a simple troubleshooting, you know, session doesn't work, we can immediately using advanced replacement work to swap out that product and get you back up and running as soon as possible. Right. We have something called our advanced learning portal, the ALP, which is ready to get you and your staff trained in the latest technology and blue string solutions. Right. So it's a free sign up right on our website and you're ready then with 38 courses and over six hours of training material at your disposal, ready to get everybody trained on Bluestream. And like I said, with all the latest technologies, our 24 six global technical support means that you'll get the support when you need it. Right. Our US, UK, 
EU and Australia teams are all available to support you and your project at any time, day or night. Because, you know, let's face it, right? We're always on site late or up early to get that project finished. And last but not least is, is our white glove treatment, right? Which helps you get the installation working really as it should, right? With that, you can send us your bombs for a conversion versus, you know, what may be specified on a project, but currently you're unable to get stock of, or send us the complete schematic where we can recommend solutions, right? Because we know, of course, our product best. So let us help you in specifying that system, right? We're, we're passionate people who love AV distribution. And, you know, this comes across in all of our technical support and our proactive product training. Right. So those are the why blue streams. So we're going to give you a little bit of a high level overview uh, of the categories of where blue stream sits. Right. And the first one that we're going to talk about specifically is going to be video over IP. Right. And video over IP, if, if, if not anything, is really convenient. Right. Right. Because video over IP provides an easy path for integrators to build a video distribution system with audio, video and control all on a single network cable. Right. When it comes to scalability, right, another very large advantage, of course, is the ability to add or remove sources and displays as needed. Right. It's really infinitely scalable, limited only by the number of ports that are available. So, for example, in a bar restaurant, we know if we're going to build that out and we're going to get an extra wing, we need more displays. No problem. If we have the ports that are available, we can easily address that with some additional receivers and they'll work seamlessly with the transmitters that are on site as long as we have the ports that are available. Um, no major hardware changes for that. And of course, when it comes to integration, video over IP for Bluestream is, is already ready, right? With drivers, I talked about this, able to be installed from third-party major, you know, or major third-party control platforms, right? Which makes really integration a snap with these drivers available, right? Bluestream really entered um, the video over IP market with a single 4K capable solution. And really in this past year, right? The versatility of us, we've expanded this, this lineup to really address, you know, the other needs that we're seeing, the different verticals that we want to apply, right? Then they'll work on all the most common network speeds and capabilities, right? And if anything, we are consistent, right? So with Bluestream Video over IP, you get ease of integration that only takes six clicks, right, to get the system operating. And the best part is that once you install your first system, you're already prepared and know everything that you'll need to install the entire lineup of Bluestream Video over IP products. So what are those products? So let's start out with first with the IP50 system, which really was designed for 1080p60, right? It works perfectly well on 100 megabit systems, right? So these are common that's already out here in the field today where we have these networks already available. Here, of course, we'll see usage mostly for things like digital signage applications, bars and restaurants, where the fidelity of 4K may not necessarily be needed. And 1080p60 certainly is going to give us the frame rate and capability at a reduced, but a reduced cost as opposed to moving to something like a 4K solution. Now, in those cases where 4K is needed is what I would really call our bread and butter IP200 and 250 systems, right? And this is so when we need to step up to 4K. So this is a bulk of where our, our video over IP solutions are currently being deployed today because really it's a solution that fits into nearly every vertical and every single category. All right, and last but not least is our SDVOE transceiver. So this using SDVOE technology, it's a transceiver. So it's a transmitter and receiver all in a single box, the IP500, which is an uncompromising full 4K solution that works perfectly in places like government or, or medical, right? High-end resolution, uh, you know, uh, high-end residentials, but especially in medical, you know, you see that where an uncompromised solution, you know, uh, is certainly needed because of things like, you know, um, uh, medical imaging, for example, right? But either way, this is going to net us the best picture quality and experience, right? So the IP50, the IP200, and the IP500 really designed for different segments, things like commercial applications, 4K that's going to hit most of our bread and butter applications, and of course, STV for those uncompromising scenarios. So moving on from that, Right. So while video over IP certainly has a lot of benefits, right, there are still several instances, right, where traditional matrix products are not only suitable, but can be advantageous. Right. So one of those advantageous scenarios, of course, is when we talk about costs. So when building out a system where the maximum number of sources and displays are, are eight by eight and lower, you'll get all the benefits of a distributed matrix at a value that's going to be really hard to beat. You'll find that these products work really well in residential applications as well as small businesses where the number of displays are going to be finite, 
right? Bluestream has, has streamlined these matrices into three categories, really based on the features and the need for the integrator. So first is, of course, our contractor series, which provides all the basics for HDMI video matrixing. So really no bells and whistles, just exceptional end-to-end -end HDMI video, video distribution with IR control. Now, stepping up from that to the essential line means that you'll benefit from additional control features such as serial and IR control, CEC capabilities, art capabilities, and more. So these are certainly being used in a number of different residential applications because this is where we're seeing a lot of these features and functionality. We need control. We also need the ability for, of course, to bring back art for distributed audio systems. Now, the last... Um, the last up, of course, in this three category of matrices is going to be our platinum matrix series. And of course, one that we just introduced at the top of the line here for the US that we just released, which really pulls out all the stops and is designed as a no compromise solution um, where we need to integrate features such as, such as Dolby and DTS down mixing, land serving, right? We need to get audio, or I'm sorry, we need to get internet control to a smart TV to run applications like our favorites, Netflix, Hulu, et cetera. In fact, that is the image that's pictured here on the slide there at the bottom. Now, separate of these three lines, and really in a category of its own, is the Custom Pro series, right? Which is um, it's a modular platform designed for a level of custom editing that can really maximize the cost and features based on the specific needs of a project. So you insert it with you know, video input cards and output cards, and if we don't need things like audio breakout and RS-232 routing, we can build a custom solution that fits perfectly for that job. And we've seen a lot of success here in the States right now on the commercial side using our custom matrix pro series it comes in an 8x8 and 16x16 chassis and it's been a real big winner for our teams outside of the us in the uk moving on from there um one of the things and probably one of the most important categories to talk about in AV distribution extenders, right? We all in most every single installation have and find a need to put a signal from point A to point B. So, you know, Bluestream has been pioneering extension solutions really since its inception. Um, and we've, you know, provide extension in what we call, or I like to call the ABCs. Right. So not like our ABCs, but the ABCs, which, of course, is audio, video and control. Right. So with solutions really that span everything from analog and digital audio extension all the way to full 4K HDMI. We talked about a little bit that HDBST solution and, of course, USB 2.0 for control. Now, speaking of pioneering and innovation, Bluestream has really been pushing the envelope by integrating some of the latest and greatest technologies in our industry into some of our extenders. So, for example, Bluestream is the first and currently only AV brand to build a dedicated e arc extender, right? So especially in residential spaces that can use uh, a spare or dedicated CAT cable to bring eARC, right? Back um, while maintaining CEC and data, right? So we can still control our TVs and devices using CEC, but still bring that body, uh, the audio back to AVRs and more. Um, and speaking of things like HDBST, it's probably important to note here that Bluestream was the first manufacturer to get HDBST certified for that 3.0 technology that makes extending uncompressed HDMI 2.0 reality, right? So no more compromising, right? Um, when we need to take things like full bandwidth Dolby Digital and keep it in a theater room, or if we need to maintain things like pixel to pixel accuracy in medical imaging environments where compression is really an unacceptable option. Right, moving on from there, we've got things like our splitters and switchers. Now, simply speaking, the uh, splitters and switches are building blocks that are necessary really in all those instances where we need to either add an additional source of display to a project or a component, right? So we offer an array of splitters. So when we need to break out uh, digital signage to multiple displays, like in a retail environment, we have multiple options standing by, including our HDMI 2.0 splitter, right? With HDBST extension that's shown here, that not only allows us to split that source, but also allow it to be sent to the far reaches of a building, let's say like in a Walmart or a Costco, right? You'll find that we've got, you know, integration of really a lot of the needed features that we see both in residential and commercial applications, such as audio breakout. And we're going to need to connect audio to a distribu distribution system uh, capabilities such as a smart scaling, right? Found on a number of our splitters, which allows us to mix and match both 1080p and 4K display in a single environment. Important in places like bars and restaurants, uh, again, with the retail and other places where we know that we'll be mixing and matching displays that are various 4K and 1080p. 
Shifting over to some of our more commercial categories, we have multi-format presentation switches. So we know that in today's collaboration spaces, right? So for those of you that work in the corporate live event venue, um, you know, hospitality meeting areas, you know the importance of being able to offer both tried and true wired connectivity, as well as the more or contemporary connectivity with things like wireless, or sometimes referred to as BYOD. Right here, you'll find a focused and curated range of solutions that have largely been designed to work together to form a solution that's perfect for any size collaboration space. So our AMF 41W shown here, our wireless presenter gives us the ability to connect using the technology really found in most of our devices today, things like AirPlay and Miracast, while also giving us wired connectivity and the ability to show multiple people on screen at the same time, right? Perfect for collaboration spaces like huddle rooms and conference rooms. And when we pair that with other presentation products like the AMF 42 also shown here that gives us USB-C connectivity, microphone, right? For live events, um, seamless switching. These together gives us a complete solution for places like lecture halls and classrooms, right? In higher education space. This gives the teacher, for example, the ability to connect his laptop wired in, tried and true, and then allow students to collaborate using things like wireless technologies built into their laptops and phones and other devices. Okay, so shifting back over again, talking a little bit more on the commercial side, here we, we have Dante, and Dante is a big portion for, for Bluestream, right? And, and for good reason. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the technology, simply put, Dante is quickly becoming the de facto standard for audio distribution over IP in the, in the pro and commercial spaces. So with its plug and play functionality and the ability to manage multiple audio sources with very tight delay and clock control, it makes perfect sense that it's being used Use globally in pro AV studios, uh, live event venues, and more. So Bluestream has spent a portion of you know the last year really expanding on this category, and we brought a wealth of new solutions. Some of which we'll showcase here shortly. But we've brought to market all of the essential components for both single and multiple I/O, multiple in-out connectivity for a Dante audio network. More importantly, um, we've begun to see Dante working its way more into residential applications, right? With benefits similar to what we see with the video over IP, you know, with scalability and the ability to add and remove sources and endpoints, you know, ad hoc as necessary, it makes sense why we're starting to see this migration into the resi space. And to that end, you know, we've developed solutions like the Dante Bluetooth wall plate, right, shown here. That Bluetooth, which, you know, largely is, you know, a consumer standard is now available in a finished clean wall plate form factor that allows us to enjoy streaming music from any device easily right? Simple Bluetooth connectivity. Other solutions like our USB Dante converter allows us to, to add Dante capabilities to any computer, right? Without the need to install any kind of software or licensing, making it perfect for temporary connectivity, like in conference rooms, uh, hospitality, meeting spaces, and more. Um, having a standard and USB-C connectivity in a single device means compatibility with both legacy and newer equipment without having to use any kind of adapter or other converter, right? It's really Dante on the go. Now, the last category I'm going to talk about, I've saved this for last, it's called AV Essential for a reason, right? So these solutions uh, are those that need to be on every truck and shelf because these are the pieces that help us not only complete projects, but gives us the much needed conversion that we see every day on the job, right? So basically they're essential products. Products like our Dolby down mixing converter that takes audio from a Dolby or DTS stream from a TV and converts it into a two channel stereo ready, you know, to be inserted into a zone audio distro system. Right? We have all of the parts and pieces to make analog to digital and digital to analog conversions, um, as well as scalers for those times that we need to make a change to a video resolution because you know, we tried to connect a 4K signal up to a 1080p display. So other solutions like our analog audio delayer gives us the control over audio from AV devices like a Roku or a media player. So when audio like this is taken you know, from that source and put directly into an amp, that video signal path, right, that ends with the display will very likely add some kind of processing delay. So with our analog audio delay, we're able to really add delay into that signal so that we can perfectly sync that audio and video, right? 
Other popular solutions like our SM11 fixes a number of different issues, right? Some that are quite technical, like clock, clock stretching, which I won't talk about here, um, but it also provides us features that we know uh, we need the ability, for example, things like embedding audio because we're using this in a conference space, right? And want to use uh, our own background source. Or for example, we need the ability to de-embed audio because we want to break it out for an HDMI signal like I was talking about with that Roku player in that audio delay example. Right. So all of that can be happening in a single device. Right. It's really essential piece that solve problems. So remember, these are essential pieces of which we have quite a few of that are in stock and ready to go into your truck to ensure that you get in and out of a project as soon as possible without having to take a trip to your local distro to either fix a problem that you've encountered on site. All right. So. We've talked about Bluestream, the why Bluestreams, and we wanted to keep today's presentation fairly short just to give you an understanding of Bluestream, who we are, right? In addition to, of course, what we offer in terms of our categories and solutions that fit into the everyday projects that you guys are doing today. So this last question I will take over, we may go over this kind of briefly. I know we wanted to keep this about 30 minutes with 15 minutes of questions and we're, we're coming up on that time slot. So I'll present these products. This is being recorded. So of course you can reference this material afterwards. We'll have it available. Um, and what we'll do is we'll talk about the products, talk about some of their use cases. And of course, if you have any questions, we can take those at the end of the presentation. Of course, you can reach out to the Bluestream team directly. All right, so let's talk about our first product, the CEX 4K kit. So the CEX 4K kit is a coaxial extender. So we can use RG59 or RG6 cabling. So a lot of infrastructure that's available and out here today to extend an HDMI signal at 4K, right? So in a residential application, here we have the ability to harness that legacy coaxial cable that's still very much prevalent in homes to distribute you know, 4K content. And of course, this allows us to do it without having to run any new cables. If we look at this more from, let's say, a commercial aspect, right, we can easily update aging cable infrastructures, right, in 4K with commercial, um, you know, such as hospitality, bars, restaurant, you know, things where we want to, for example, do 4K digital signage, being able to harness, of course, existing coaxial cables. We can get 100 meters out of this device at 4K60 at 444, so that's full HDMI, uncompressed on 75 ohm coaxial cable supporting two channels of audio, bi-directional IR, so the control capabilities, of course, are here, um, and fully HDCP 2.2 compliant. Keeping with the residential theme of products, I kind of mentioned our Platinum series, and this is a newly released product. It's called our Platinum, or PLA88CS. So this matrix is the no compromise solution that gives us you know, eight inputs, you know, two of which can be HD base T inputs, and then eight outputs, all HD base T with four mirrored. Right. So you know, when we look at this from a use case standpoint in residential, right, they may be able to connect, of course, an eight by eight, uh, you know, displays uh, and sources in any combination, distribute audio and video, of course, is there. There is built in an entire uh, audio matrix into this platform. So you'll see this theme if you go down to our essential line with some of our ARC models that had that capability. But this, is, of course, takes things a step further, right, by seamlessly allowing us to distribute things like Dolby Atmos and DTSX audio everywhere. Right, We can keep multi-channel, for example, in the theater room, but because of the built-in down mixing capabilities of this device, we can then send two channel to any other location. But not only can we send these on the audio outputs of this device, because let's say we're going to take it and put it into an audio distro system, we can also output it directly with HDMI to any location, which means you don't need any kind of other extension. We'll down mix on this chassis. You can send it out over HDMI, which means you can directly address that TV that's in the bathroom or the bedroom without having to run audio separately if necessary. You can run it directly to the TV with that down mix two channel. Another important innovation on this device is the ability to do land serving, right? So giving you a stable internet connection in those cases where you're gonna be using a smart TV, you can have wired land servicing from this unit to those displays so you can watch things like Hulu and Netflix and all those other streaming services that we use today. You can ditch that separate audio matrix and just connect this to an amplifier really for an all-in-one solution because that matrixing capability, like I mentioned, is already baked into this platform, right? The RX150, which we designed specifically to pair with this and what you'll find throughout the Bluestream line that 
Many of our TX and RXs are available, are, are compatible with each other. So you won't run into issues with incompatibility. In most cases, a lot of our devices certainly will work with one another, but this is designed to take advantage of some of those new capabilities with the PLI-88, that Platinum series, the RX-150, right? Moving on from there, the CAT-100. I mentioned this earlier, is our first and only dedicated eARC extender, right? So being able to take eARC, right? So joining a smart TV to an AV receiver when we've got a CAT5 line to specifically address eARC without having to, for example, purchase, you know, or have this integrated in some other extender, right? That's that's the benefit of this is that we got just dedicated eARC to bring it back to a soundbar, bring it back to an AVR, um, and supports, of course, all the latest formats. One keynote here, of course, the ability right, to keep CEC intact, which means we can maintain control through our AVR to our TV, for example. In commercial applications, you'll notice, for example, this also has an optical input. So we can, of course, transfer optical audio on this um, at an increased rate over what we currently have today. We have an optical digital extender, a very popular piece called the CAT100. This builds on that, giving us 200 meters of crystal clear digital optical audio transmission using this device, the CAT100 eARC. So either for commercial or for residential applications, the CAT100 eARC is a perfect audio extension solution. Talking a little bit about Dante here is the DA22 dig. So this is a compact two plus two Dante audio converter. Right. So in those scenarios, especially in commercial, where we want to integrate audio from consumer devices, such as TVs and put them into a Dante audio ecosystem, we can do so only using a single device that can directly ingest digital audio and convert it to Dante. Right. It's got a built in DAC and ADC. Right. So conversion both ways. So you can go in completely digital, put it on, you know, the Dante network for distribution and even even pull that off and address it, of course, to a digital device like an AVR receiver from the Dante network while keeping perfect digital audio. Right. So can also be used as, let's say, a Donto audio interface, right? So using this, you can create a complete digital in and out scenario for doing anything, you know, in, uh, we're talking about, um, you know, in studios and music environments where we want to use, for example, this is Dante audio interface to bringing in or exporting audio to and from Dante. So the last piece that I'll talk about here, I mentioned this earlier, the Bluetooth piece. This is our first Dante audio wall plate that contains Bluetooth. So we can connect and pair to Bluetooth. So again, commercial applications are the king here. And it adds a convenient way for us to connect phones, um, really, and any other mobile devices um, You know, using that Bluetooth. It also does have a separate audio input, so we can connect them to larger amplified systems. So think you know, hotel meeting rooms, for example, right? Being able to have the ability to connect Bluetooth uh, makes it fairly easy to do so. In residential environments, being able to connect and then address if we're using a Dante network there, connecting our popular devices to stream music into our audio distro, uh, you know, our audio distro systems when we're using things like Dante. Uh, another thing here, it's uh, the enclosure itself is an industrial grade aluminum enclosure, right? And faceplate. So it's really well suited for, um, you know, high usage environments where temporary connectivity is going to be necessary. So, you know, think DJ booths and bars, hotel conference rooms and, and, and whatnot. So these are just some of the new exciting and products that we're releasing Bluestream. We've got a full catalog of products that we're working on, you know, for 2023 and beyond. Um, so hopefully it's given you a little bit of taste of what Bluestream does, right? Um, why we are quickly becoming one of the best brands here in the AV industry, um, you know, with a number of products in the solutions and categories that we know are important to you. So let's go ahead and open it up for questions. I think we hit just a little bit over the 930 mark. Oh, yeah, looks like Neil's already been taking some questions here. Yeah, and answering uh, that, was, that was a great job, uh, Jason. Um, I'm going to read off the question to you and let you answer it here. Uh, from Eric, he said, he asked, um, any push into Dante video? I just wrapped up digging through. Yeah, Dante no, it's, video. it's, it's a good, let's, let's talk about that real quick. Um, you know, when we talk about Dante video, so there is, and Dante's play with Dante video really comes a lot down to the, the management and discovery. So there are some things we've been talking about with Dante. Um, the platform field right now for video IP is quite, is quite thick, right? You've got IPMX, uh, you've got other varying standards kind of all vying for the same space. Um, and, and, and it's becoming well established. So Dante, I know, is really trying to push into that area. We have not uh, to be honest, you know, written that off. That's something that we're looking at as a possibility, especially when we're talking about combining it with our SDVOE solutions using 1080p and harnessing things like H.264265. So we haven't talked about that with the IP50, which uses standard H.264265, which gives us a standard that we can then use and put them on platforms like Dante, you know, video, which is technically codec agnostic, um, and then use them, you know, 
possibly even some other of our own solutions. So it is something that we're looking into. To be honest, we have a new solution that's coming out soon uh, called the IP300. So we won't dive into too much details on that, but that will give us full 4K60 in and out, capable to be used on a one gig network. All right, so that doesn't use Dante. It is using our IP200, that same ASIC platform that gives us full in and out. And it's gonna be at a highly competitive cost that gives us full bandwidth in and out. Sorry, kind of long question, I answer I gave there. No, so that was, that was great. Try to be complete. Um, <laughs> the next one here we got from Philip, are, the, are there drivers for the PL88CS for RTI and Control 4? So um, Jason, on this one, um, I know that they are in the process of being developed and tested for both brands, I believe, at this point. Um, is yeah, it, they're, is they're in the works, right? In the yeah. sense that, you know, so uh, just to give you a little background on Blue, just so we try to make things as easy as possible. That's really what the brand is about. Our API across the board for matrix switching, so the standard commands like routing and things like that are the same across the board. The PLA ADA does give us some more advanced capabilities, right? With the fact that we're doing down mixing. So those, those are the things that are getting vetted and developed into new drivers for those platforms, right? So, so they're in testing because we have to add those functions. Okay, go ahead, Neil. So, so Jason, these use the same commands as the HMXL uh, matrix? Software? Yeah, for the basics for routing, right? So routing commands are going to be the same because again, we, we unify that API. So we write these, right? These aren't products that are taken off of a factory floor somewhere in the Asia territories. These are engineered products in Australia. Um, and to that end, we have that, of course, ability to engineer them. So our API command sets, where they make sense will be the same. Um, like the HMXL, which adds ARC capabilities, part of that essential line, adds things like audio. And we had to develop, obviously, the additional uh, driver capabilities um, to add the audio matrixing in with that. So this has those audio matrixing capabilities, which of course are there, but of course there's an extended capability with the Platinum for um, things like down mixing, which are I think definitely gonna be important to those guys in the Resi space that wanna take advantage of that. All right, great. So that means they could uh, use the HMXL driver for both RTI and control. Yeah, I think you should be able to use the HMXL driver right today, right? That gives you the audio routing and the, the video routing capabilities. So the down mixing will be the next update on this. Yeah, new product just released at Cedia this year in stock right now here in the U.S. We do ship from the U.S., by the way. So the ship's out of a Shakopee, Minnesota warehouse. So these are stock products here in the U.S. And, and even delivery time, if it's something we don't have, we, we can pull. We're a global brand, right? We can pull from uh, our UK, our, our um, European or Australia partners in those cases as well. I love them. Keep them coming. We did have another question. Um, I'm trying to get some clarification before I ask you here. Sure. Yeah. No, I appreciate the feedback. So, I mean, we, you know, just to give you an idea from a development side, the, the, the product catalog is in constant development. In fact, you know, at ISC this year, which will be in Barcelona, same as last year, we've got a number, excuse me, a number of different solutions that we'll be uh, promoting. Can't quite talk about them yet, uh, but definitely as soon as they become available, to talk about that's coming in the next little over a month now. Um, some exciting, you know, solutions that we're looking at, including with audio. We've, we've been spending a lot more time in that audio realm looking at solutions to help our audio catalog. I mean, we didn't talk about all the Dante solutions. In fact, coming in January, for so that everyone is aware, um, we will be starting off and kicking off a Dante or a webinar series that's going to be focused around Dante, right? So, you know, January and, and February, like we'll be taking those, those, those sessions, probably going to be on the 15th of every month, like this one, where we'll talk about some of the other new exciting solutions. So Dante is going to be a focus in the first part of the year. All right, uh, because we've been doing uh, doing a lot of development on that side. Um, and exciting stuff with Dante, right? And you mentioned Dante video. That is something that is certainly at the forefront of our mind and how it's being integrated. Um, there's a lot of support now. We're starting to see more with the Dante video side. Um, but again, there are some very cost competitive solutions right now for doing, you know, full one gig over, over, you know, ethernet and Dante very likely like in the audio realm, will have very tight control specifically over the discovery and management of those, of those signals. Um, and being agnostic, as long as, you know, we can get compatibility across the board with other devices, that's something we should see as a reality. Jason, when we have a couple more minutes, can you go through kind of that white glove service you mentioned earlier about yes. oh. helping with specking? the projects yeah absolutely so so please use our expertise here at blue stream 
right? So you can contact anyone on the Blue Stream team. You can send us a bomb, like I mentioned before, especially right now when we know that, you know, stock shortages without naming, you know, specific things. We know that it's a challenge for installers out there today. And Blue Stream being fully stocked in the US with a lot of solutions that we know will work, you can send us over a bomb and we can tell you what will or will not work. Right. And we'll send you back, you know, either a specific bomb comparison with what you can use for blue streaming comparison, or uh, like I mentioned before, you can send us over schematics. It's regularly, they, they come across my desk where we can take a look at that and say, listen, this is where a blue stream product can work. That's great. Um, and help you specify that system, you know, because again, and I said it before, and I know I'm repeating myself, but we are the, 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 the specialists in this with Bluestream product. We know the technology. We know how it works. We know what will and won't work on products. So leverage that side of Bluestream and the services for that. Um, in addition to that, too, um, if you have your own in-house design specification teams where you are creating bombs and you are creating schematics, you can also just send them to us for a second pair of eyes. Right to look at that schematic and say, yeah, you know what, this is you did this great. This will work. Um, the, the the point is, is that no matter what the scenario is, we're here to help. Right. So if you want to give us a call and talk shop about technology, I love doing that. So um, if you haven't noticed, I talk a lot. And if you want to talk about certain technologies and talk shop, we can certainly do that. And let's figure out where BlueStream is going to be a, a good fit for you. All right, Jason, it doesn't look like there's any more questions at this point. More questions. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, take take a look at the website. Have a look at our catalog. There's quite a bit of solutions. Like I mentioned, over 100 different SKUs. It's difficult to cover them. We didn't want to blast everybody with, with every single solution, but know in those categories, video over IP, splitters and switchers, conference room products, AV Essentials, um, Dante and extenders. Bluestream has the solutions. And I kind of say this about building blocks is that these components really amount to like Legos of a building block. You put them together to create a solution and you can be sure that interoperability is going to be there. Um, and they'll cover all of what I call the five tenets of signal distribution. That's extension, splitting, switching, matrixing, and conversion, right? So all of these capabilities are within the Bluestream line to address any kind of installation, whether it's residential, hospitality, live event, venue, corporate, command and control, government, all of those solutions currently is where Bluestream is sitting today, all right? But what we wanted to talk about today is very specifically, these are solutions. Give us a look. And if you have any other further questions, please reach out to us. We'll be more than happy to help out. And Neil, anything else you want to add or? No, I think you covered it, Jason. It was a great job. Thank you. Everybody, have a wonderful day. Uh, keep, uh, keep, you know, look out on your inboxes for the next in our series. We'll be doing this on a regular basis. Come, you know, once a month, like I talked about, we'll be doing Dante next time. Uh, and if anything else comes up, have a wonderful weekend. Have a wonderful holiday. And we'll see you in the new year. Thanks, everybody.